I'm Nick Zowsby. I play under the name Sunbeam Sound Machine. And I'm from Melbourne, Australia. Yeah, I reckon the first band that really made me want to record my own stuff was probably Deer Hunter. And also Atlas Sound, which is the guy from Deer Hunter's solo stuff. That sort of made it seem pretty possible. And I guess stuff like uh, Beach Boys makes you want to sort of aim a bit higher with what you can do yourself. Well, usually I'm sort of just playing and I come up with generally a chord progression and then I use a loop pedal a lot to I just loop that and have it on repeat and just come up with maybe another guitar part in the bass line and then the drums always just sort of stay in my head and maybe I'll just try and sing over the top of that loop. So I only have to learn how to sing and play guitar at the same time once we're figuring out the song's live. And then I'll start recording the guitars first usually and it's just a layering process from there. Drums and then vocals, usually the last bit. So usually a song is like 90% finished and then I just agonise over the vocals for the last 10%, but it takes about the same amount of time as the first 90%. That's usually pretty much for every song. That's the way it goes. My brother and sister actually, for my birthday, signed me up to a record club. So I get a record delivered to my house once a month. I don't think you can deny the convenience of digital music, but in terms of having like a listening experience, I don't think you can go past vinyl. I think CDs just seem kind of flimsy now in terms of physical, physical media. But yeah, I think vinyl's the best way to have a physical copy of the music that you love. And I think the fact that most vinyl comes with a free download now sort of shows that they can, they can coexist. And I think that's, that's good, that it shouldn't just be vinyl, shouldn't, you know, be exclusive from digital media. Um, the most recent record I bought was Brian Eno and Harmonia. Before that, I got a Lee Scratch Perry record, which is my first dub record, and probably not my last. My most prized record that I've gotten lately is probably Nebraska by Bruce Springsteen. It's an album that I've gotten really into. Just around the corner from my house, there's this old uh, like second-hand store. And I thought they just sold like shitty jackets and stuff, but they actually have an awesome record collection. And that was, I just decided the day before, I was like, I want to get, I want to get that on vinyl. I was going to go on Discogs or something and buy it, but then I found it really cheap. It's like the third record I found. I like, tucked it under my jumper. <laughs> just went straight to the counter before anyone could uh, pluck it off me. It's not a very cool choice, but I've gotten very into that album lately. Yeah, my answer would change every day, but if I had to take three records with me to a deserted island, it would be Nick Drake, Pink Moon, Revolver by The Beatles, and I'm going to say uh, Looping State of Mind by The Field, which is very different to those two. So that's for more the ambient, repetitive side of things. If you want to get a bit meditative on my deserted island. <laughs>